When we're talking about complex numbers, first uh, we got to define the imaginary unit. And what we mean by that is i. i is defined such that i squared is equal to negative 1. That makes i the square root of negative 1. That's the imaginary unit because we can't take the square root of a negative number. However, we need it in order to solve some quadratics. The complex number is going to be any number in the form a plus bi, where a and b are both real numbers. So a complex number has a real part and an imaginary part. So, for instance, when we want to solve the quadratic equation x squared minus 2x plus 2, uh, we first see if we can factor it, and we quickly realize that we can't. So we resort to the quadratic formula. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And when we start simplifying that, we'll have 2 plus minus the square root of negative 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, so 4 minus 8 all over 2. Now we get to this point where we're going to want to simplify the square root of negative 4, which of course we can't do because we can't take the square root of a negative number. So in order to take care of the negative part here, what we do is we take the square root of negative 4 and break it into the square root of 4 and the square root of negative 1. So the square root of 4 is 2 and the square root of negative 1 is i. Now we can finish simplifying this fraction by of course, splitting it up into two fractions, 2 over 2, plus or minus 2i over 2. Then we have the real part is 1, and the imaginary part is 1i. And there we'll have our solution that involves i. Doing arithmetic with complex numbers uh, isn't too terribly difficult. Uh, for instance, addition and subtraction work a lot like addition and subtraction of binomials. We want to combine like terms. So since we're adding... Um, just add the real parts. 2 plus 6, that's going to make 8. And then do the imaginary parts. Negative 3 plus 7, that makes positive 4 i. So just add the real parts and add the imaginary parts. Same thing when it comes to subtracting, that uh, you're going to subtract the real and imaginary parts. Uh, one common mistake that happens is you go through this problem too quickly, and you'll say 2 minus 6, well, that's negative 4. And negative 3i, 7, that's plus 4i. And what you forgot to do in doing that is deal with the negative on both pieces. So you subtracted the 6, but you didn't subtract the 7i. So this is the wrong answer. One way to, um, to get around that is to, first of all, just take your time or distribute the negative. So rewrite this as 2 minus 3i minus 6 minus 7i. Then it's a lot easier to see that the two real parts, 2 minus 6, that makes negative 4. And then you do to the two imaginary parts, negative 3 minus 7, that's negative 10i. When we want to multiply complex numbers, we have to FOIL it. Um, so just do that. First, 2 times 6, that's 12. Outsides makes plus 14i. Insides are minus 18i. And lasts are negative 21i squared. Um, when we combine like terms to simplify it now, what we see is that we'll have this 12. And then uh, 14 minus 8, that makes minus 4i. And then we're left with minus 21i squared. And the thing about this i squared is that i squared is def defined to be negative 1. So this is the same thing as negative 21 times negative 1, making it positive 21. So 12 plus 21 minus 4i, 12 plus 21 being 33. If we're going to square, we can use those shortcuts that we know. Um, a binomial squared, that's going to give me 4. Uh, minus 2 times 3 is negative 6, but there will be two of them, so minus 12i, and then square the last thing, of plus 9i squared. Combining like terms, again, we see this i squared, so that's going to make, instead of plus 9i squared, that's the same as negative 
all of this will turn into minus 9. So, when we simplify, 4 minus 9 is negative 5, minus 12i. One more. When we have 2 minus 3i and 2 plus 3i, that's going to be the difference of two squares because we have that everything's the same. It's just 1's plus, 1's minus. So we square the first thing and subtract the square of the second thing. That would be 9i squared. But again, we have this i squared happening. So instead of 4 minus 9i squared, that will be the same as 4 plus 9, making it 13. Now this is a special result because we multiplied together two complex numbers and got a real number. Before when we were multiplying two complex numbers, we ended up with complex numbers. So this is a very special situation. And it happened because we were talking about uh, the difference of two squares pattern. When we have this a plus bi and a minus bi, these pairs have a special name. They're called complex conjugates. When you multiply together two complex conjugates, you will get a real number.